All right, June 13th, 2024. We're on this Aquahot 450 on 2020, I think, or 2021. Turn it around and show you. There's the Aquahot Reporter 2 system. And there's my status before the coolant level wasn't okay. Right. And I'm going to show you how we went through this to add coolant because we had, a, I showed you one where I had to pull that coolant level sensor out, put in their new system here, which is a capacitive type. It looks like a spark plug. Remember, we went over that already. Kind of is, but it just uses con connectivity of the water. All right, so now we're going to go here. Of course, that's my puppy. All right, so we're going to go test. All right, so you want to go next. You see, enabling test mode will allow direct control of the outputs. Well, how you purge it is. We don't want to turn the burner on and off in case we wanted to turn the electric grid off and check the heating element right there. See if 120 is getting to it. All right. All right. So we'll go next. All right. There you go. Pump one. This is pump one. All right. Two. And three is the stir pump. And then you got two boost pumps in the back. So here we go. Pump one. All right. And we listen. This is on. You can check for voltage right here, you know, see if it's coming in, what it is under a load with your voltmeter. Be glad to show you that later. So I don't hear no swishing. So I'll turn it off. And I've done this already. Just so pump two. That's this one. Put your hand on. You could mark them, right? Pump one, pump two, and then you know what zone they go to. That's later. All right, now this is the stir pump. All right, pump three. It takes the coolant, the heated coolant from the bottom and keeps circulating it like this so it don't get a hot spot inside the tank. So we turn off pump two, pump three. You, can, you hear the swishing? That's it stirring up in there. Now the bleeder, I've bled the heck out of this system. It's uh, right there. All right, see, so it's a Schrader valve, and I bleed right there's the cap. I use the Allen. I got most of the bleed out, the, the air. And then this is up to here now, filled it up. All right. And then pump four is usually for your heated base system. I don't hear no swishing around, so she's doing good. Remember, I already went through all this. All right, now you're going to list the boost. That means it kicks it in fast. You hear it way back here. It's back on the back half. It only has a boost one. It does not have a boost two. I hit it. Nothing on. All right, so that's that one. Now we go next. See what other. All right, so inside the coach is fan one, two, three, four, five. If it had five zones, okay. So if I turn this on, I go up front in the coach. I should hear the little blower motor blowing out of the heat exchanger, coolant to air heat exchanger, a little uh, heater core. All right, here we go, and that's it. So we go back, right, we go back. Now electric on and off. Now listen, you're gonna hear the relay. If I had this panel off right here, you would just same as you do a, uh, a hot water heater propane and all that, 120, you'd put your 120 multimeter on there, 200 volts, and listen, ready? You hear that relay? Listen again, hear it? All right, so well, that's the test system. So we're going to go home. The Aqua Hot. It's an A450D serial number two two one five five two. That way you match it up with that guy down there, right? Making sure, right? Somebody didn't change something out because the the serial number tells you what configuration. And this is configuration one point one one on this module. All right, so this is a pretty nice system. All right, so faults. If there was any faults, you'd come out here and go like this. None are reported. Well, because I, I re-raced them all, and I'm getting ready to fire this bad boy up. All right, so, and remember, you got Diag, right? You could say, hey, diagnose this, right? So, once again, next, we're going to diagnose. You got preheat, burner, on, off, electric, boost, fan, right? Remember we did that? Low temp sense. 
pump one. Let's diag pump one. Well, it didn't do it. All right, so we got to do it. So low temp sense. All right, so previous. We go back home. There you go. So the coolant level is okay for now. Quick test and a um, walkthrough procedure on your aqua hot reporter system. Remember, a lot of them marry into the RV system. This is a spider. Um, Tiffin used this. Used different ones. So that's a multiplexing system. Uh, hopefully, this video was a little helpful to you. Mainly, this is still the same control burner unit. All right. It's a Wabasco. All right, it's got the same wire colors, everything for centuries. All right, gears. All right, so you see Wabasco. There you go. All right, and I would keep one of these on hand because they go. All right, this is Jeff from RV Dionysus. Behind me is a 1975, and yes, I'm going to work on that one eventually. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeff from RV Dionysus. Beautiful. <laughs> There you go. We got a couple of them to work on. And there's like two or three on the other side, Class A's. And this is the Tiffin 2022, I think it is, or 2021.